All right, so out here in Alpine country, back country winter, uh, hypothermia is a big concern. And so you gotta know what to do. If, if one of your uh, party members starts uh, showing signs of hypothermia, you know, basically what's happening there is your core temperature is dropping to a critical place. And um, it's, it's no good. You can, you can slip into uh, a bad state quick and then evacuations may be very difficult. So something you can do if you notice uh, stumbles, mumbles, fumbles, uh, these are some easy things to remember. You know, you, you, you kind of, you notice somebody in your party is, is not coordinated, they're fumbling with their words, they're stumbling around, they're mumbling, their cognitive uh, abilities is decline. you're noticing this. And see, a lot of people won't admit this is happening too, because you know, the ego or something like that, you want, don't want to be the loose chain, loose link in the chain, right? So people don't speak up. So it's important as, as uh, uh, party members and a leader to really check in with your people, check in on these things. But if you notice someone's deco uh, decompensating quick, you know, and they're starting to shiver uncontrollably, all these are bad signs of hypothermia, the core temperatures from 98.6 down, like down, down, like 92. It's like, it's no good. So um, this is um, a hypo wrap, thermal wrap, had different names for them, the burrito. Um, so first layer, if you have it, Get some biomass and make sure that you're not losing your heat from conductive loss. Anything you touch is conductive, right? So put some biomass down there, and then you get all your resources. Um, you know your 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 tarps, your sleeping bags, your pads, all that stuff. I'm getting some cordage ready because this is going to be a key detail I want to take care of with the end in mind, right? So you don't have to do this when someone's in there because I'm just going to. Take this paracord and weave it back and forth so I can wrap them up when it's said and done. I don't have to wrap underneath it. So, next, what I'll do is I'll throw that <coughs> tarp. This happens to be one of those space blankets and it's got some added thermal regulation properties with the NASA technology in there. Always nice. But any tarp will do, any blue tarp. Put that down first. And so uh, then you go with any other pads. party. Why don't we grab that one too? Perfect. Peter, I'm going to have you uh, demonstrate for us. If you want to get into your sleeping bag. Oh, get into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. get into the sleeping bag. Now, if someone's got wet clothes on and you've got the resources, you can choose, uh, you know, if, if it's conducive, you can protect them from wind loss, uh, convective wind loss and that kind of thing. You can take those clothes off uh, but a lot of times you know it's, it's urgent he's just doing what he's doing just get him in there shoes and everything just want to get his core temperature back up so at this point we can lay in all our extra thermal regulation you know Okay, can you roll to your right, Peter? Yeah. <clears throat> if you wanna, uh, Ken, lay in the sleeping bag right there, I'm gonna grab one more. I oh, yeah, mine's in. How you doing? There he is. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ken, if you can get on that side, yep. man. The idea here is we're going to wrap them up. <laughs> Tie a little bit here.
You always want to keep that face protected, but open so you can breathe, obviously. So the idea is we're taking care of our subject here. You know, getting the heat back in him. You know, maybe you, you can sit him up a little bit and get some hot brew in him. Keep checking his vital signs. But you can bundle this up better. I've made a little bit of a mess of this, but you take your time and you can get a nice weave into this and you get the general principle here. It's all about getting his core temperature back up to a normal state where he's functioning and he can evacuate himself. You know, ideally have to call such a rest and get him on a plane or a helicopter or something like that. All right. It got very warm, I'll tell you that. I bet, I bet. <laughs> like very comfortable. Like quick, huh? Right away. Right on, that's how you take care of it. Cool, man. I hope you never need to use this, but acknowledge his power. Yes. Additional interventions like the use of space blankets, making a hot brew, or making a fire can all contribute to your patient's rapid recovery. Monitor this situation, make that call on your own. Hopefully, you can get home all safe and sound on your own two feet. Okay.